Laravel has a very good way of authenticating users. So it lets you create login registration form and instead of creating everything by yourself, instead of creating your um, authentication view and uh, controller and uh, models, instead of going through all of this process, Laravel has a very easy command to create everything by only one line of code. So let's go ahead and create this form by only typing this command. And this command is called php artisan and then make auth. But I'm going to show you here with the list of commands. Artisan, hit enter. You will find a lot of commands. And the one that is going to create everything to us is the make auth. As you can see here, make auth. And the description of this command is, is scaffold basic login and registration views and routes. So now, if I type this command, make auth and hit enter, as you can see, it says authentication scaffolding generated successfully. So now, if we get, so now if we get to our now to our uh, root, as you can see, it has created this auth roots and the home as well for us. So when the user uh, logs in successfully, it's going to take him to the uh, home. So I'm going to add here just a comment for this, and I'm going to call it user authentication. Authentication, right? And also inside our views, you will find the home as well. We have now the home with just basic HTML, and also we have already the uh, user.php we also have the uh, we we also have now the controller for the user or the authentication the login controller the register controller the for forget password controller and to access that uh, login form what we need to do is to get to our browser first but obviously we need to First, type php artisan serve to make our server run. And now what we need to do is type slash and then login. And it's going to take you to the login form provided by Laravel. And as you can see, this is the form. And it also has the registration form, register. Uh, you can now register. So for example, let's register with um, some uh, name, for example, Rick, and password is Rick at example.com, password 1234, 1234, and hit um, click on the register, and it's gonna authenticate this user, it's gonna create this user, but the, it says here the password must be at least six characters. Let's type one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit um, click on register. And as you can see, you are now logged in. If I click here, it says Rick, and here the log out as well button. And um, if we get to any page now, we are logged in. But the problem is that we now, if we get to our products, products, hit enter. We now have the here we have we now have the login button we need to make this button work when we click on it and take us to our login form and to do so it's so simple what we need to do is to get to our header inside our um, view we need to get to our header open the header you should find the login which is this one you need to replace this href with with the login URL, and at this time, this time we are not going to use the root as we used for the cards. What we are going to use is just slash and then login, and it's going to take you to the login form. As you can see, if I get to our browser back again and refresh, and click on the login, it's going to take me to the home page, and it says you are already logged in or you are logged in, and the name of the user that you logged in with. And obviously, we want to 
prevent user from going to the login page if they are already logged in. So if they are already logged in, we should take them to our pro to their profile, right? And if they are not logged in, it should take them to the login uh, form. So inside our project, we are going to use the if statement given by Laravel inside Blade. Uh, I opened this before, and if you click on if statements, here we can use the if statement and the else if and end if. So we are going to use this to um, to uh, display what should be displayed in each case. So I'm going to use the if, and then there is a class called auth, which is going to make sure if the user is authenticated or not. And we are going to call the method check. And this method checks if the user is authenticated or not. So if the user is, is authenticated, is authenticated, meaning that the user is already logged in, we should type here profile, profile, and this should take the user to their profile, and we are going to uh, create this later. And here we should type else, and the else should take the user to the login form. So this should be login, and this should be login, and obviously we need to end the if statement. End if. Now, if you save everything and get back and refresh, as you can see here, it says profile. So if I click on it, it should take me to the profile when we create it later. And if we get to our to the login now and log out, let's now log out and get back to our products. And now click on the login, it should take me to the login form as you can see again. When we click on the profile button here, it should take us to, to a profile uh, for the user to see their um, information like the email, the name, the options might have like editing password or changing email, etc. etc. And to do so, we are going to use our home.blade.php as a profile page. So here, instead of just saying you are logged in, we could add more data. I could just add here, for example, p tag inside, and I could add the name for that user. And to, to add the name of the user, we access the name and the email for the user by using something called authentication class. And the authentication class, to use it inside our view, you need to use one single curly brace, single curly, curly braces, and then double exclamation mark at the beginning and double exclamation mark at the end. And in between, you type the name of the class, which is auth, and then you call the method user, and then you call the field that you want to get. So for example, let's get the name of the user. So I'm gonna call the field name on this uh, user function. And then when we get to our browser now and refresh, and we click on the profile, it's not gonna take us to the profile yet because we did not add that link here. We need to add the link that we will that will lead us to this home page. And inside our, uh, actually inside our header, we need to get to this uh, home page when we click on the profile in case uh, the user is authenticated. And what we need to pass here is the, uh, is the, um, is the URL which is home and hit uh, and save and get to our browser and let's test if I refresh and click on the profile as you can see it took us to the home page which says you are logged in and click the name of the user obviously we can add a lot here to make it much better and appealing so we could add edit button here buttons here for edit email edit password and uh, we can also add the email and to add the email we can here type p and double curly, uh, single curly brace. And I'm going to just copy this and get the email and change this name to email and save and get back and refresh. 
and as you can see here is the email i obviously can add here email and save and refresh again and as you can see it's now much better than before and i'm gonna also delete this you are logged in it's useless and let's capitalize the first name and the email and now as you can see here we don't want this uh, laravel uh, icon here or laravel word here we can change it by the name of our website need to get you to your um, layouts app because it uh, because the home that blade extends this um, this uh, view and if i open it i will find that it uses the configuration file and then it calls the app name and it passes the laravel but if i go ahead and change this nothing will ha will happen i first need to get and if i get to the app dot um, uh, if i get to the configuration app if i open the configuration app.php i'll find that the name of the application is determined by the a by the env file and it has a field called app name and the value is laravel so we need to get to the .env file and at the beginning at the top of the file we have app.name and as you can see it points to the app name the name of the app so i am going to change this laravel to anything you want so for example if your application is called shopping and um, you just name it shopping it depends on your logo or or business name so change this depending on your business name and save it and you need to first um, re restart your server so i'm going to first restart the server php and then artisan and then serve again hit enter and get back to our project refresh and as you can see it has been changed to shopping shopping and at any location or in your in your website you will find that the word laravel is gone so this is the way that you can change the application name suppose now that you want to display the user data the username for example an email inside the card page or inside any page suppose that you want to share the data with any page inside your website so you would definitely use the sessions yes sessions are a very good way of doing so and accomplish uh, accomplishing that but there is a very good way when it comes to critical information like user data so laravel provides us with a very good way and easy way to share user data with all of the pages inside our application and to accomplish that, I'm gonna open first our application and you need to, to follow three steps to accomplish that. The first one is you need to open your project and inside the app, you need to open something called app service provider, which is inside the providers, app service, service uh, provider. And you need first to import the view. So here I'm gonna import the view use view and now we can use this view to pass all of the data inside to pass any data to any view that we want so inside our boot function you, you can pass any data that you want by a key and a value and to do so you you just need to use the view class and then call a method called share and this method would, would let you share any data with any view. So here the key is, for example, name, and the value is rec, right? And now semicolon and save. And let's get to our carts now. Cart view. And inside the cart view, I'm going to um, just display this uh, name and just before the thread here i'm gonna type double curly braces and name the key that you want to use but you need to add dollar sign before that name and save and now we if we get to our cart and refresh as you can see we have here the name rec that we passed and if you if you call this name if you add this name 
with this with this form double k replaces and assign dollar before uh, the key at any view you would definitely get that name so this is a very good way of sharing data with any view but suppose that we want to get the name of the user itself from the authentication we would not do this the correct way of doing so is that we get again to our app service provider and we use the view as well class but we don't use the share function we use a function called composer composer and we need to pass the star sign which means share with every uh, view and the function that we are going to pass is function and the view the view we call the authentication from that view so the view and we call a function called with and we pass the key that we want to, to use for example user data and the value is now the auth as we used before and the user the user function and don't forget to import the authentication class here i'm going to also import it use and then auth the authentication class and save and now inside our cart products.php here i'm going to again type the same form double carry presses and the dollar sign and then use user data because the key was user data or whatever key you have and then 